Hello, my beautiful Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus friends, and all of you cross watchers who are interested in Virgo. I'm so happy that you're here. This is a really bright spot for me in life. I love being able to do these readings. I love to help you with any clarity that I can. I want you to remember that these readings are collective, so not every energy will match every person, but I don't believe in accidents. I believe that if you're here, it's for a reason. Um, so pay close attention to if there's a certain message for you, but it's really about it being a bridge to your own intuition. So if you sit here with the intention of getting the reading through a space of love and light, really pay most attention to what are the messages coming up within you. When you hear the cards, what comes up within you? Because that is your higher self and that is where um, your real clarity lies, is within yourself. So I just hope to be a bridge to that. I'm Wendy Irene, founder of GiveLoveCreateHappiness.com. I would love for you to join me there if you feel called to. It's my creative space in the world. Okay, Virgo, my beautiful Virgos. <laughs> Virgo is my uh, rising sign. So I'm, I feel very connected to this energy. And let's get started here. So, so happy to see that the first card that came out and by itself, like at the top, I have a whole pile of cards here, um, is the King of Pentacles. This is your energy. This is you standing in your power. It, it makes me thrilled here to see you, Virgo, standing in your power, in your beautiful earth energy. Like you being that high court card, uh, really being authentically you. And uh, it's like, it's so easy in life to be in situations where we give our power away, but you are standing in your power. You are standing in your confidence. And I love to see that. Okay, so, and you're also like so reliable and grounded and just responsible. Um, just makes me really happy to see the King of Pentacles come out on the top because that is a very good thing for you to really be in your element, in your power. The next card is the Ten of Swords with the Ace of Cups that came out together. These are burdens. This is something that had you stressed and the great thing here is with the 10 is that it's coming to an end it's coming to completion and you're having a brand new beginning in cups in love most likely in love and happiness and emotional fulfillment so something really it's sometimes it's like something really pushed you to your point where you start this new beginning for some of you this could be new love coming in here for you where this old stress, like you've decided to put an end to it to let it go. It could also be like a restart in love or a beginning in reconciliation in love, but like it's it's this big new beginning in love here. And it really is because this Ten of Swords, these burdens that, you know, this stress, this hurt or whatever it is it's like it's coming to an end you step back into your power as the king of pentacles is showing here at the top of the deck and because of this this brand new beginning in love and happiness and emotional fulfillment is here for you which is beautiful you have the king of cups you may be dealing with a water sign because the cups come up so that would be um Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you could be dealing with another earth sign, Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, um, and Capricorn. It doesn't have to be those signs. Obviously, it's not going to be for every single person, but I just like to put it out there when I see it. But it, for me, I feel like this King of Pentacles is your energy. You may be dealing with a King of Cups, but it doesn't have to be a water sign. What it means is that there's this person coming in for you in love here. Um, this King of Cups is in love with you, um, is really going to show you that love. I wasn't intending on this being a love reading, although like if love comes up, it comes up. I was just really wanting to get whatever the highest messages were you for today. And it seems very much to be about love with the King of Cups here and the Ace of Cups. Those are two amazing cards. So. I feel like this King of Cups is like this nurturing energy that's going to come in for you. This, um, you know, this emotionally mature energy. This, I feel like this energy really has your back. 
really loves you, I feel like there's this new start with that with the Ace of Cups. So it's either brand new or there's this brand new start with that where this stress, this unhappiness is coming to a close here. Six of Cups, some of you, that's nostalgia. That means this could be someone from the past. It could be someone that you already know. Um, where you have like this nostalgic feelings for it could be that you know through that stress that you've been thinking a lot about the past and uh, in memories about the past here but you know again cups I feel like there's love there's emotional fulfillment for some of you this is a reconciliation with someone from the past probably um, but not for all of you the five of swords is just this conflict it's right below the ten of swords this unhappiness this conflict um and right next to it is the magician because i feel like the universe is saying to you here like remember your power you can manifest your way into better situations right you have this magical magician power within you okay so there's this this is remember like you are standing in your power as a king of pentacles you can manifest a better situation um and i feel like what you're manifesting here is true love with the lovers so i feel like it's like you're saying no to this five of swords and you're manifesting true love you're saying no to this conflict and you're manifesting true love you're saying no to an end to the stress and this stuff and in a new beginning in love here um, so I feel like many of you are actually, whether you know it or not, manifesting this really true love connection. So I pulled a whole bunch of more cards really for more advice to see if we can get some advice for you. So the three cards that came out from this deck here, the first one is called Part of Fortune. Part of Fortune here. Song of Creation. So this is an energy of joy, it's an energy of fulfillment, um, of happiness, and it's basically like your internal attitude brings external luck, luck, sorry, your internal attitude brings external luck, which is what you're aware of here with your manifesting, like you're focusing on what you want, you're focusing on the true love that you want, you're focusing on this brand new beginning in love, this fresh start in love, um, and you know, you're doing that from the inside out, which is beautiful. You are manifesting joy and happiness and fulfillment. Um, and those are really much more, like that's also like similar to cups energy, right? Like this fulfillment. The house number five, house of life. This is all about self-expression. Um, you expressing your desires. You're expressing, you know, whether or not you wanna have children or children are part of your life, creativity recreation what is it that makes you have fun what can you do to have fun because life is not about it being serious and hard all the time like it is about having fun too and this is really you expressing your personal freedom i feel with this house number five here five is about change i think the change that's happening really is you standing in your power you being authentically you you saying, you know, I am not going to pretend to be somebody else anymore to please anybody. I am going to stand in my power. I'm going to be me. I'm going to manifest true love. Um, you know, brand new, just beginning in happiness and emotional fulfillment and love here. And it's really with you giving your authentic self-expression, like expressing how you feel or whatever, but not... It, but authentically so it's like you let go of what anybody else will think about it and you be you like I'm gonna do me right now okay I love that Uranus corresponds with Aquarius and the 11th house here so this is um this is a catalyst card and I feel like it's like the catalyst to this change to you really being who you are to you owning your power um it can, it's also a card that reminds you of the magician, like life can be magic, okay? Maybe it's not exactly how you thought it would be, but it's like you have this faith that you'll manifest it on the highest possible alignment for yourself here. It's a brilliant energy. It's like the just, just genius energy here with Uranus, and it's you becoming awakened, awakened to your power to being your true self 
to knowing that you can have this beautiful love, that you don't have to be in this energy of ten and five of swords. Um, you can put an end to it. You can have this faith that you can manifest love. And like, like I said, you some of you have this, this king of cups energy coming in. Okay, so the next card is moving forward fearlessly. So whatever steps you have to do to move out of this Ten of Swords, to move out of this Five of Swords, you're taking that and you're doing it fearlessly. You have this strong faith, right? And that's what I mean about standing in your power and being in your power. Like you have this faith and this knowing that things are going to work out for you. Um, and you're ready. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to not be stuck anymore. You're ready to not be in the Ten of Swords. You're ready for like happiness, joy, love, and like bring it on. Okay, the next cards came out together. Awakening your true self. So this is what I'm saying. I love when it's like a repeated message because that's what I'm feeling from this reading. This is you really being you unapologetically and fearlessly, right? Um, owning who you are. It's not about what other people think about it. It's about who you actually are and how you actually feel and really being that. And a environmental awareness, I do feel like you guys really do care so much for the earth and the environment. You know, you are an earth sign, like taking care of the earth, taking care of the animals, like particularly birds here. Maybe some of you have this connection with birds, like you feel like they could be a spirit animal. But you really, it could be that you're just, you know, taking care of a garden or planting some flowers that are or plants that are good for bees and butterflies. I just feel like you, you're you really aware of that. And you're also self-reliant. Again, self-reliance. You standing in your power. You got this. You got your back, right? Like you will always have your back. You can trust you. You are in your power. You are in your element in this king of pentacles. And you, you can count on yourself. And you can count on this faith and this fearlessness to move forward. Okay, Virgo, I hope this gave you some messages that were helpful to you. I appreciate you very much. And thank you so much for all of you who have subscribed. If you feel like this resonates with you and you'd love to subscribe here, it would mean the world to have you here. And just know that I am sending you my love and light and have a beautiful week, Virgo. Bye.